Hey guys, it's MC Fix It here. We are going to be uh, changing out spark plugs. These ones are the old ones on this 2014 Honda Odyssey. This is going to be very similar technique to the Pilot and the Ridgeline. We're going to show you all the tools and the supplies on how you can change out your spark plugs and uh, get your vehicle up and running better. Here are the tools and the supplies that I used. Uh, you're going to want NKG. This is the number on it, LKR7DIX. You're gonna need a total of six of them because this is a six cylinder. These are the old ones and uh, pretty burned up. Uh, got about 130K on it. A pan that will allow you to catch parts, um, particularly me metallic would be best. Uh, if you do lose anything down in the engine, sometimes a pair of needle nose helps. You're gonna want a torque wrench that has foot pounds and you're going to want a regular wrench. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket and a 5 8 socket that is meant for spark plugs. It'll have this little rubber grommet down in there. You're gonna need a total of a six inch extension, but it's best if it's in two threes because then you can unhook and hook them. You might also use universals. Um, not necessary, but we did use it a little bit. The two three inches, which make six inches work much better. A spark plug gapper and uh, some boot protectant. That is all that I used for this project and uh, hopefully this is all you will need. The first step we're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver and with the flathead screwdriver you're gonna be taking off the two little quarter turns and uh, that will take off your engine cover and then you just lift straight up on your engine cover and pull it off towards you. Set it off to the side and you can begin to see where the spark plugs are going to be. So we're using NKG spark plugs and right there is the number on it. You are going to need six of them and you do want to test each one of them for gap and so you will take them off the little cartridges down in here. You do want to make sure it has that. Go ahead and find the 0 0.44 and go ahead and test it. Perfect just like that. Do this to all six of your plugs. So you're going to want to try to find your coil packs. It's going to be hard to show you on the back, but the front ones are right here. You got three of them. It takes a 10 millimeter uh, socket, and we're going to go ahead and get the little nuts off of each one of them. So you have a 10 millimeter, and you're just going to go ahead and break them all and get them out. Make sure to have a magnetic tray nearby, so once you get these off, you can go ahead and set the nut in there. To disconnect the cable, I use a flathead screwdriver. You press it on the top part and you pull with your other hand and that will help disconnect it. And once that's up, you kind of just stick it out of the way and then you might have to shake back and forth the coil pack and then you're gonna pull it out. And as always, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get these out, but they are doable. You just gotta get the right angle. And just like that, and then put your coil pack to the side. So we're gonna use a 5H inch spark plug and uh, make sure that it has that rubber grommet in there a three inch and then a universal this will allow us to be able to set this down in here you do have to kind of finagle it in and then you'll want to make sure it is seated properly on there and then you attach your ratchet and then you can go ahead and get it out of there And once you have it pretty loose, I like to go ahead and take the ratchet off and just work on spinning it out by hand. You probably could get away with two three inch extensions as well if that's something you have, but you would just connect them independently. And these things do have a pretty long thread on them. We're getting close though, there it goes. And just be careful as you get to this point. Oh, okay. Because you're going to have to disconnect it right here and then pull it out. And so it is kind of a pain to do, but you can see how worn these ones are. And we'll show you the new one just to compare the two together. You do want to make sure not only did you gap it correctly, but also that you have the same length. If they look totally different, uh, you need to go ahead and double check and get the right ones. 
Um, these look like they are in kgs as well, uh, so that's a good thing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take it. Everything's gapped correctly. We're gonna use two three inch, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and find out how to get this in there without hitting the front of it. Take your time, wiggle it around, and then we're gonna add that other three inch to it. And then we're gonna start screwing it in by hand. And as soon as you can stop doing it by hand, we're gonna go ahead and take our torque stick. It is to 16 foot-pounds of torque. It should not take much. And you heard it click, so you're done. Go ahead and pop it and we'll start pulling it out. It really is easier if you are able to disconnect these to pull that straight out. Next thing is to go ahead and grab your coil pack. So you will want to inspect these a little bit. Um, also, if you have any debris like we did, we just took a little blue shop towel and just cleaned it off. So go ahead and take your coil pack and we're gonna put just a little bit of spark plug spark plug boot protector on this and you just put a nice little chunk in there and then go ahead and same way you kind of got the spark plug in there you're going to have to finagle this to find the right line and you bring it to where the bolt goes on like that uh, then we'll go ahead and grab your little nut there it is a 10 millimeter and then we're going to go ahead and move this down to nine which some people may not want to do but it's fine i'm going to go ahead and grab that 10 millimeter and then tighten this one down to spec as well So go ahead and tighten that down to spec, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the cable back on. So then that I've shown you one of the spark plugs, it's gonna be the same for all of the rest of them. Uh, you do need to remember the ones in the back are pretty much straight aligned with the ones in the front. Very similar technique the whole way around. You gotta use those two, three inch and uh, just take your time make sure you're not busting any a part of the spark plug on any of the housing or anything like that but uh, just continue to do this process and you will be successful in it uh, torque it down to spec right and uh, everything will go well so we're going to go ahead and test the car and so we'll go ahead and start it and everything started just how it should Thank you all so much for watching. If you do have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments section below. Also, make sure to uh, like and subscribe as well. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.